Well, we've got a bet 365 Summit Juvenile Hurdle. It's a grade two. We've got six runners Legler Royale, James Reevely rides for John Quinn, Peace and Co. Daryl Jacob riding for Nicky Henderson, Stark Attack for Jason Maguire riding for Don McCain, and then Maracuja, Nick Schofield riding for Paul Nichols, Officer Drivel, Gavin Sheehan rides for Jim Best. And then one to go. Very intense, Robbie Dunn rides for Tom Lacey. Well, a strong favourite here, Peace & Co, has had uh, one win. That was in a newcomer's hurdle uh, last June. He's now joined Nicky Henderson. Mick, he's odds on. You're close to the Henderson camp. What, what are your vibes? I don't, I don't know, if I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest. All I do know is the form of this horse isn't too bad. He beat a horse called Valentin in France. And that horse has run really well in some good juvenile hurdles at all time. John Blance is the man who's going to call them home. 365 Summit Juvenile Hurdle. Eight flights of hurdles to be jumped, two miles and half a furlong to get round, and Lega Royal is not hanging around. Leads in the early stages in the Terry Warner colours, the red and black. Good four or five bends to the good already. Over Peace and Co. in the two-tone green, who's taking a bit of a pull. Maracuja in the red jacket is racing in third. Then after that, we have very intense former Jim Bolger inmate on the flat. That one in fourth position, the blue and yellow colours. Officer Drivel is taking a fierce pull in the purple jacket, has now moved up into fourth and right at the rear of the field at the moment is Starkey Tech. So they make the turn away from the grandstand and head on down the side of the track. And it's Lega Royal who's got plenty of experience over hurdles in his native France and a couple of runs over here in Britain too. Leads by still two or three lengths to Peace and Co. who's just had the one run in France so far. It's a very Good victory at Clairefontaine. Then after that, we have Maracuja, who's also making its British racecourse debut as they come towards flight number two. Lega Royal jumped it well. Peace & Co is a little bit novice at it. Maracuja towards the right in third. Then Officer Drivel, a sheepskin noseband, a very intense you know, the sheepskin noseband wearer, Starkey Tech, at the rear of the field, who's uh, managed a couple of victories at those McCain stamping grounds of Aintree and Bangor so far this season. So making their way from that second flight down the far side to the third on this part of the track, and uh, well, it's Peace and Co towards the left, who's now just about pulled its way to lead along with Officer Drivel, who's wearing headgear, the purple jacket. Lega Royal has now been relegated, still to a pretty close up third. Then after that, in fourth position, very intense. And then on the inside, Maracuja, who just uh, stepped slightly at that flight, and uh, Starkey Tech is still at the rear of the field. So they're making the rise at Rose Hill, and it's Peace and Co in the hands of Daryl Jacob for the Henderson Yard that goes on here to Lega Royal, who's up the inner in second. And after that, in third, we have Officer Drivel, followed then by very intense Maracuja, just lost a length or two up the inside rail, but still travels quite nicely. And Starkey Tech is at the back of the field, but not too far away. Quite a long run before they leave the ground again. And it's it's Peace and Co, who's spearheading the formation at the moment, to Legal Royal, who's up the inside rail and trying to save a bit of ground. Officer Drivel in the purple jacket, not too far away. Starkey Tech, extreme leg, the left is now making interesting looking headway as they take the fourth last. But Peace and Co, who's kind of warm to the jumping task through the contest, now goes on to lead by a length or so. Officer Drivel is in second, Legal Royal just beginning to feel the pinch. And this Peace and Co, in the hands of Daryl Jacob, has pulled its way to the front. Officer Drivel is in second, Starkey Tech with all this British race course form is moving nicely around the outside in third position very intense is still within shouting distance then Maracuja in the red and Legler Royal is now beginning to huff and puff as they start to make the turn into the home straight Peace and Co the near side to the far side we have Starkey Tech who's making pretty stealthy headway then after that in third position very intense who's trying to sneak around that inside now Bar Maracuja is making a little bit of headway up the inside as Officer Drivel's early exertions appear to be taking their toll and Legler Royal is at the back of the field they've spun for home under half a mile of the contest to go and it's Peace and Co that just about leads to have driven along Starkey Tech in second this duo just now going on to very intense and Maracuja at the third last now Peace and Co jumped it really well and is pulling Daryl Jacobs arms out Starkey Tech in second they're well on from very intense and Maracuja who seemingly have not a great deal more to offer down towards a penultimate flight Peace and Co the far side jumped it really well Starkey Tech was good over it too but is now under heavy driving and Peace and Co is still Still absolutely sauntering through the ground here at Doncaster this afternoon. There's a long run between the second, last and final flight. That is posing no problems to Peace & Co at the moment. Final obstacle now, hurdled it like a good one. Well clear of Starkey Tech, then a long gap back to the rest. As they go inside the final furlong now, Peace & Co, the further they go, the further this one goes clear. And it's still only in a roundabout third gear. Final half furlong now, Peace & Co, if you back this one, form an orderly queue. 
Peace and Co. wins the Bet365 Summit Juvenile Hurdle. Starkey Tech, a good run in second. Legal Royal has boxed on for third, followed then in fourth position by very intense Officer Dribble and the disappointing Maracuja. Well, we've seen Hargam win for Nicky Henderson here at Cheltenham today. And we've seen another one up at Doncaster. And I will be really surprised if this horse is not Triumph Hurdle Anti